Welcome to Naresai Technologies. This is Ram Chandar. In the last video, I did talk about how to provide implementation for interface by writing separate class. Especially in this video, I am going to discuss about how to provide implementation for interface by using anonymous inner class. Our concept is how to provide implementation for anonymous inner class. Implementation for interface by writing anonymous inner class. Let me give a quick information about uh, anonymous inner class. Okay. Abjai here. Inner class means a class within the another class. A class which is existed in the another class without having any name is called anonymous inner class. A class which is existed in the another class without having any identity or without any name is called anonymous inner class. The main intention of the anonymous inner class means giving a quick implementation for a interface without writing a separate class. Clear? Now, how to provide and how to write anonymous inner class as a implementation class for interface? Please understand here. So, by using this anonymous inner class syntaxes, slowly I am going to introducing Java 8 features that is lambda expression. Before talking about how to provide the implementation for interface by using lambda expression, first I want to introduce what is lambda, what is the main intention of the lambda, why Java community people introducing the lambdas in Java 8, those I am going to discuss first and later we will go for what here, again implementation for interface by using lambdas. Now, first let me design one interface, let me design one interface, here, here interface is test, here interface is test. Now, I am writing one method like void m1, I am writing one method like void m1. Now, this is what interface, so interface method should be what abstract, so how can I write public abstract void m1 method, there is an interface. So, let me save this one, test.java, test.java, all files and save it. Do you want to replace it? Yes, test.java. Now, I want to provide implementation for this interface. How can we? Very simple. Now, let me take one more notepad. In this notepad, I am taking one class like a demo. In the demo class, I have main method public static void public static void main I am writing like string array yes string array yes ok now here I am writing like system dot out dot println just for our understand purpose demo main that is enough now please observe here first let me save with uh, demo dot java let me save with uh, a demo dot java yes now i want to give implementation for test how can i give implementation for test very simple very simple test t equal to test t equal to new test whenever we writing like test t equal to new test test t equal to new test and ended with the semicolon the meaning of this statement is the meaning of this statement is creating an object for interface that is illegal in Java. We can't, we can't create object for, we can't instantiate the interface. See, test is an abstract, can't be instantiated. So, what should I do? In front of the semicolon, now I am writing open and closed curly braces. Open and closed curly braces. So, this is what exactly implementation class. This is what exactly implementation class. See, this open and closed curly braces behave like a one implementation class, behave like a one implementation class of which class? Test class. Of which class here? Test class. So, do you have any name for this class? No. No name. N unnamed class or anonymous class. No. Observe here. Now, let me compile the program. Once you compile the program, Intentionally, I am showing this error, anonymous demo dollar $1. There is no name, na? 
so that uh, inner class name will taking as what here one where exactly that inner class i written demo so that inner class name is what here indirectly demo dollar one it's not a abstract doesn't override the m1 method in the test already we have an idea what is that if any class wants to communicating with the interface that class must and should be provided the body for all the rules which we have in that interface nothing but simply we can say converting from abstract method to what concrete method now here already i have we have one abstract method in the test like m1 first we should provide the body that public public void m1 method public void m1 method now we are writing we are writing one method here what is that we are writing some logic that logic is m1 method let me save it now please focus on it t is a reference variable of test type which is going to hold implementation class of test interface what is that implementation of class of test interface is demo dollar 1 demo dollar 1 observe here let me compile this program once let me compile this program java c demo dot java now successfully compile now will you please concentrate here let me zoom it demo dollar 1 dot class so this is called what exactly anonymous inner class anonymous inner class whenever we working with the anonymous inner class we will get a separate dot class file we will get a separate dot class file anonymous inner class now how to execute this method concentrate here t dot m1 method so according to whatever the discussions we had in the last video whenever we calling t dot m1 method compiler always concentrate whether m1 method is existed in the t reference variable type or not what is my reference variable type test type do you have m1 method yes let me go and check yes m1 method is there and jvm always concentrate on what here memory what is that memory it's not a new test it is a memory for what here implementation class of test so here implementation class of test means simply we can say memory of demo dollar 1 in the demo dollar 1 do you have m1 method yes we have m1 method from what is that anonymous m1 method from anonymous inner class anonymous inner class let me write anonymous inner class let me compile this program see what we are getting we are not getting any success uh, we are not getting any error now let me go for what here execution java demo once we typing like a java demo now concentrate m1 method from where anonymous inner class that means this part uh, concentrate this part entirely entirely behave like a one implementation class for test now basically anonymous inner class always anonymous inner class always subclass of either class or interface either class or what here interface understand or not now in this time in this term this entire part behave like what here implementation class of interface like what is our main intention of this video making a anonymous inner class for what providing implementation for interface that's what i'm discussing anonymous inner class as a implementation class of interface but not uh, as a subclass of what here another class understand or not so already we according to whatever the discussion we had starting of this video we have a four ways to providing implementation for interface one is uh, uh, by writing separate uh, class for implementing the interface one more is anonymous inner class third one is lambda and fourth one is what method references up to now we discussed two things one is how to provide the implementation for interface by writing separate class as well as by writing anonymous inner class in the same manner in the next video i'm going to discuss how to provide implementation for interface by writing lambdas i hope you understand this video for more videos please subscribe to the city channel thank you